and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. everyone everyone was looking so convincing and believable like they were really having a good time but my eye is always drawn to the one lady who's like oh god <laughs> and i see a woman who doesn't like me i think i'm attracted to her <laughs> what does that say about me that i'm weird that i'm a pervert yes <laughs> and you like that don't you I've been very Fifty Shades of Grey, haven't I? Yes! Very Fifty Why don't I tie you up, you naughty little monkey? <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody! Yes, it is! It is! It's a great day! It is a great day for the Democrats. The convention is in full swing, and uh, Bill Clinton spoke tonight. It was awesome. <laughs> He got a standing O, and that was just in his dressing room. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Clinton was asked the age-old question, are we better off now than we were four years ago? And he said, well, I am, because Hillary's always out of the country. <laughs> I'm having a standing O right now. Tomorrow is the last day of the convention. Apparently, they said they will not be dropping the balloons at the end. I am outraged. I cannot believe they're taking away the balloons. Why would you want to make Joe Biden cry like that? <laughs> and you know who's speaking at the convention tomorrow night? Scarlett Johansson and Natalie Portman. I know. Those are two really big stars. And Natalie Portman is great too. <laughs> That's right, I meant her boobies. <laughs> Earlier tonight, of course, was the Giants versus the Cowboys, first game of the NFL season. We're live, and I was watching, uh, uh, congratulations, winners, and... <laughs> so I was watching, you know, in my office, watching 22 big dudes smashing into each other. Later on, I'll watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff, that's very supportive. <laughs> Most channels had the Democratic convention uh, tonight. I think it's imp uh, this is an important election. I think everyone's responsibility is to stay informed. So I did my part, and I watched Here Comes Honey Boo Boo on the Learning Channel. <laughs> Thank God for cable. If you don't have cable, and obviously you don't, <laughs> I'll explain the Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo is an adorable little girl from the South who can sing and dance and act. No, wait, I'm thinking of Justin Timberlake. Anyway, you see ya. <laughs> Anyway, they showed the show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. It's a show about this little girl's uh, family in uh, rural Georgia. Do we have a picture of her family? There they are. There. <laughs> hey, hey, how dare you judge? <laughs> now, they call themselves, if you could see yourselves, by the way. <laughs> like, I come out here some nights and I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, they call themselves rednecks, but then so does Jeff Foxworthy, but compared to the honey boo-boos, uh, Jeff Foxworthy is like Downton Abbey. <laughs> I say, Lady Sybil, you might be a redneck if your fiancé was previously your chauffeur. <laughs> That's actually accurate to the story of Downton Abbey, isn't That's it? True. That's yeah, true. yeah. <laughs> anyway, the family call themselves rednecks like the Jersey Shore kids used to call themselves guidos. And they should all call themselves what they are now, which is, of course, rich. But the Jersey Shore <laughs> got cancelled, so now we've got the honey boo-boo. One show dies, the other is born. It is the circle of reality show life. Hakuna Maboo-boo. <laughs> Uh, everyone in Honey Boo's, uh, Honey Boo, Honey Boo Boo, Honey Boo, Honey Boo. I like Honey Boo, Honey Boo Boo. All right, uh, they, they've all got a nickname. The dad is called Sugar Bear. The, uh, I think you know a Sugar Bear, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, got a sister called Chickadee. Uh, the mother was just called Mama, which is not a good name for her. She's got a bunch of oddly named kids and a pregnant teenage daughter. She should call herself John McCain's ideal running mate. Ah! <laughs> you see what I did? You see what I did? Nah. Applauding me, save it for your judgmental looks to the Honey Boo Boo family. <laughs> you know what I think is sweet about this family, though? They do seem genuinely happy. They do. And it's more than I can say for a bunch of people I've met in this crappy town, which proves to you that money cannot buy happiness. It can only buy you an election. <laughs> and, and an erection. <laughs> yes, according to the boner pills you will see during the commercials for the show. <laughs> I can say that, can I? What I don't like about Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, the show, is that the family talks and they've got uh, southern accents. But thick, I mean, they're like, But you, let's do, the, you know, the But what happens is that TLC adds subtitles to their accents, and I do not like the idea of adding subtitles to accents. I'll give CBS ideas. Hmm. No one can understand the Scottish guy. Let's put words on the screen. <laughs> Why would a CBS executive sound like a Bond villain? sure why Honey Boo Boo is on the Learning Channel. What exactly are we learning? It doesn't match the other educational standards of the other, you know, Learning Channel shows like Say Yes to the Dress. <laughs> it's a real show. I learned to say yes. <laughs> anyway, here comes Honey Boo Boo as a spin-off from Toddlers and Tiaras, which is a show about child beauty pageants. I don't like that show. It reminds me of my own childhood. I wasn't... No. I wasn't in beauty pageants. They don't approve of such things in Scotland. We have something more, a little more sophisticated. Baby fights. <laughs> I don't like the thrill of putting two little babies in diapers into a ring and watch them go nuts. <laughs> two babies go in, one baby leaves. <laughs> and, then, and then the other baby leaves. It's not that vicious. They just bump into each other a bit and start crying. <laughs> it's like sumo. Can I say that? I can? Oh, crap. I said something I can't say. What'll I do? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I might as well. Now that, now that I've, I've done that, I might as well just say everything I can't say. <laughs> hey. Shoot on, 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 hang on, 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 on. You want to, uh... Yeah. You want to, you want to look at Secretariat? Oh, it's like, oh, yeah. Let's right, check let's, in. Let's go on. Hey, hey, stop, 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 stop. What's that? What the hell, man? What's that? Has he got a turntable behind there or something? <laughs> Little hooves? <laughs> That'd be like you and me when we go into a club. Oh, yeah. And what do the girls say? Here comes the player! <laughs> do the thing. All right. Tonight's program is brought to you by the pay-per-view event of the year. It's Colicky versus Nino. Baby Fights 13. 